and yet there was uh, criticism at that time if you remember dr jay shankar because people said you haven't managed to or we haven't managed to vaccinate all of our population and here we were sending vaccines abroad there was a lot of criticism then i i don't know if there was a lot because i think people domestically are, at least there no, was i i think there was loud criticism from the expected quarters mm. uh, i don't i would not consider it lot of criticism uh, you know it's very interesting in this country you would have people who when you do things say why are you doing it when you're not doing it say why are you not doing it if there's consistency the consistency is in opposition to anything you do okay uh the the fact is i think most people in this country understood uh, that you know it's the right thing to do and let me tell you uh, one thing when delta came delta wave came uh because it wasn't only the vaccines you know before that there was a hydroxychloroquine yeah. there was a paracetamol etc yeah. think how many countries did their bit to help us and some of them yeah. you know like say president biden or the americans they said very clearly saying that look india helped us and we are going to help india mm. so uh, you know this very uh, sort of uh, short sighted view and sometimes as i said you know the people who claim to be internationally suddenly become super nationalist mm. you know uh be, beware beware of such people because i am going to uh, come to yes, that yes. whether we are hypersensitive as a country uh you know to criticism because uh you saw that little video that i played uh in which uh george soros statement on democracy yeah, which sure, you sure, took sure, on sure. you took on and you you said that you know you said he was old rich opinionated no, no, and dangerous. i know what i said yeah. right yeah. now yeah. Th- this also the the op-eds which come in foreign media which say that um that they blame india for now for crony ca- capitalism and say mr modi's image has got hurt the bjp on the other hand says that there's a there's a conspiracy uh, against uh, india rising india and uh, you know mr modi's muscular policies yeah, sure, and then sure, sure. it, it would be nicer to have a meek and submissive no, india look uh, smita uh, i have dealt with the world for a long time uh, i have dealt with the media for i even had a media job at one point of time okay i want you to step back don't think incident by incident they say this you know something happened you said this they said this the media said i don't want you to do that because it's you really losing the woods for the trees i want you to think step back and think the last 9 10 years okay what you have from different quarters is you know an episode there a decision here an adjective added here you know a photograph done there it's like drip 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 like water on stone they the whole idea is to shape your image you know your collective image shape it in a way in which you are made to look extremist you are made to look unreasonable you are made to uh, look as though you know you are not part of this what is otherwise a great good uh, progressive world okay now it happens in different ways you know every time we make a major decision you talk about us being hypersensitive i would put it to you look at the hypersensitivity of the of the media you know look how people jumped up and down when article 370 was was uh, you know uh, decided no. upon now or you know even even this example that you know uh, millions of people will lose their citizenship i mean and then see sometimes the dishonesty of the it. caa one that yeah. you're talking see about see the dishonesty of it you know you had reports and uh, you know i'm look i'm not personalizing it you know mm. i've got nothing against individual a or b or newspaper a or b but each one of them has contributed their bit okay you actually have people who would suggest problems in assam are because of narendra modi now you and i know i mean come on this is indira gandhi's time okay but that is whitewashed you have people who say oh there's serious problem with judiciary because the there's an ex chief justice who is now entered parliament is it for the first time no there was ranganath mishra did it earlier so you know our institutions come under attack you know suddenly i would as i tell people say what you will for me you know the to me the uh, 
the which one of us doubts our election commission which one of us goes to vote and thinks the the result is not what what is true and you know uh, uh, capturing the the integrity of the process and yet what will happen you know that comes under pressure so there is an attempt and it's a, it's a very very clever uh, attempt and it takes different forms you know we had a very very tough time during covid so you But, are you saying uh, it's all I, coordinated no no i think there is a mindset i think the mindset i would say there's an ideology uh, uh the i i give you the example of covid okay i grant you we went through a horrible time in covid i mean many of us lost people in our families friends acquaintances look at the coverage of our covid did people not die in other countries did we see that coverage out there did you see that kind of photograph from other countries i mean you heard of bodies piled up in parking lots in other countries yeah so i am putting it to you this way look i do think that one of the uh, uh, challenges today is you have due to in my view and mm-hmm. you know you may or may not agree with it over 70 75 years what has happened is actually democracy has worked in this country and the proof of democracy working in this country is cities you know uh, if you look where is your leadership coming from they are no longer the people necessarily from big cities and english speaking schools mm. okay they are people of a different background and it's, again i'm not talking individual here i'm talking of a generalized uh, phenomenon you look at the mindset of the society this society today has become much more assured about what it believes in there was a time when actually you kind of kept that as though you know uh, you're not supposed to talk about your cultural beliefs uh, in front of other people so yeah. you actually have a huge Did change you experience that when you were in jnu not talk about <laughs> Indian you culture know, you were, you know Jane, that was in the in the 80s no, 70s, 70s, 70s 70s in the 70s yeah. uh, look, you're diffident about your own culture i mean i i saw this comment in which you said one of the greatest diplomats that india has uh, was lord krishna and there was lord hanuman you mentioned him also and uh, it's it's not something that is spoken about in diplomatic circles and even in the media who the beat journalists would never think of diplomats and not even you and you know when when you think about it your your background your journalism i mm. uh, sorry your education mm, well yes and no because you know i it's also it's a socialist no, hub no 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 i also had a lot of home education okay, okay. say jnu was different i was i was 18 mm. when i went to jnu okay and jnu was very very firmly leftist mm. at that time uh, and i think uh, everything you know at 18 what you intuitively believe is either formed by your friends and acquaintances or what is reflective of your home uh and uh, definitely in our home my father who was a very strong influence on us uh, uh was very distrustful of ideologies and people who he believed uh, were not uh, uh who did not have the loyalties uh, uh in our own country such uh, as well you look you know you are you are not talk remember he had his own uh, views about what was happening in the 40s and 50s hmm. uh, at that time you know who was for the national movement uh, you know where did uh, different people uh, you know how how did they switch remember at that time china there was a there was a big china Cultural issue i mean yeah. we, we are uh, oh, okay you're talking we, the war and things no 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 uh, yeah war or the revolution war. okay yeah. so i he he particularly i think had uh, he was very very distrustful of the left hmm. you know uh uh so of the communist left hmm. huh? uh and uh, uh i think some of it so in a sense we grew up uh, very unspokenly but very strongly as very patriotic children hmm. uh, you you might say you know we kind of went to uh this uh, military Uh, institutions i went to air force school to uh, king george's bangalore military school uh, my my uh, siblings went to uh, some of them went to 
नेवल स्कूल टू सरदार पटेल विद्यालय सो आई थिंक दैट वॉज द काइंड ऑफ माइंड सेट आई टुक इन टू जे एन यू सो इनफैक्ट इन जे एन यू विच वॉज अ डोमिनेटली लेफ्टिस्ट टॉप लुक द टीचर्स द स्टूडेंट्स द एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन एवरीबडी वॉज वेरी लेफ्टिस्ट माई लॉट ऑफ पीपल माई कोहॉट वे द फर्स्ट सेट ऑफ पीपल हु एक्चुअली पोलिटिकली टू कॉन द लेफ्ट okay uh, and and actually uh, we had a meeting uh, we had a election even where uh, the then uh, uh, prakash karat was the was the uh, uh, sfi candidate uh, he won one election he lost one election so i you know i i s- where did you stand in that oh i was very clearly with what was called the free thinkers free thinkers so, yeah, free okay. thinkers was a assortment because other than the left there was no other political and there was uh, no tukre tukre in those days no no that see that all that came very much, much yeah. very much uh, later mm. uh, so uh, i would say that sense of uh, 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 nationalism uh, uh, connection to country this was kind of instilled in us on the 